everyone, so I'm back. Um, today I'm going to be doing something just a little bit different. I'm going to be doing my January empties, things that I've finished or are really bad products that I would never ever recommend buying again. So this is for January. Sorry it's a couple days late. So I'm going to start with hair products. Um, this is a hairspray that I finished. Um, I do have to put my hair up in a bun every day, Monday through Friday, so uh, funnily enough, this is my first bottle of hairspray since uh, I joined that I finished. Probably will never be my last, so um, it was Herbal Essence uh, Hairspray Fixative in number four, it's the Max. Um, I loved this stuff, and I would definitely repurchase it again. It's a lot better than what I'm currently using, so it's probably going to find its way into my stash once I get close to finishing up the bottle I'm using now. Uh, other things that I've used are all makeup items, so let's go into the makeup. First thing I used up is this uh, Mega Plump Wet n Wild Mascara. This is in the blackest black. Um, it worked good for darkening my lashes, but um, it didn't give me any kind of lift or curl or anything and tended to clump. It's a little bit of a drier formula. It's $2, so if I was traveling and forgot to bring mascara for whatever silly reason, I'd probably purchase this just because it's good for in a pinch, but other than that, I wouldn't buy it if I had other options. Another one I used was this MAC Zoom Fast Black Lash. I got this in a sample when I bought some other products from MAC. I really liked this mascara. I doubt I'd ever be able to use it in a full size, so the sample was really good for me. Um, and I just kept it in my bag for traveling. Um, I used it almost every day, actually, until it dried up. So. That's mascara. We'll get on to eyeliner. This eyeliner sucks. This is Prestige Cosmetics Liquid Eyeliner in 01 Black. Uh, the product itself is really runny and it doesn't stay on, there isn't enough, it isn't thick enough to stay on the brush so that I can do a single line in one motion. Um, I had to keep dipping my brush into the product, so eh, meh. Um, I have only used this one time. I'm never going to use this again because I have sensitive skin and it irritated my eyes. It burned really bad, um, so this is definitely not a product for people with sensitive skin. There are way too many other options for liquid eyeliner, so uh, that is all the products I used for beauty for the month of January. So until next time, guys.